In this snippet, I'm gonna quickly show you how to customize any of Laravel Fortify's routes. Now, I'm using Laravel Jetstream here, but even if you've implemented Laravel Fortify directly into your project, you'll have the same issue. The routes file that Fortify uses is tucked away within our composer files, which of course means you can't really edit these because then when you deploy this and you pull in your dependencies again, all of your changes will be lost. That's pretty obvious, but let's now look at how we can start to modify these. So this is the roots file that we have tucked away. I'm gonna leave this open because we're gonna to need to use that a little bit later. Before we start though, it's important to know that if you just, for example, wanted to add a prefix to your roots, in the Fortify config file, you can use the prefix option. So if that's the only thing that you're looking to do, head over to the config and add the prefix in here that you want to use. Let's just look at an example of this. So I'm gonna say auth. And if we head over now and just give this page a refresh, you'll notice just at the very bottom of my browser, the logout route is now prefixed with auth and that works as we would expect. So all of these are now prefixed with auth. So if that's something you wanna do, you don't need to follow the rest of the steps. Okay, so with this roots file, the goal here is to copy this, basically copy the entire file over to our project. Let's start by doing that. So I'm gonna grab the entire contents of this roots file and we're gonna come down to where our roots live under our roots file. And I'm just gonna create out a fortify.php file and paste that in. Now over in web, what we can do is require this file in. So let's go ahead and say require once, go into the current directory and we'll just pull in fortify.php. Now that's not really gonna do anything at the moment. Uh, if we just come up to our fortify roots file and we modify maybe, let's just choose something in here to modify login page. Let's say that we want this to be sign in instead. So let's just modify a couple of these, sign in, and that should be fine. Let's come over to slash sign in, and that does actually work. Now the only issue is if we now head over to slash login, that also works. What we've basically done, and that's pretty obvious by copying the routes and registering them again is we've got two versions of them roots, which is not good. So that's really the step to modify your roots within Fortify, just copy the file over. However, we wanna make sure we're not double registering these. So let's head back over to sign in. We know that works. And let's go up to the provider that Fortify gives us, Fortify service provider. Now in here, this is doing a lot of things. We have looked at this in another course if you want to go ahead and check out Fortify. But what we want to do in here is examine the Fortify file and check if we can actually disable the default routes that Fortify gives us. Let's go all the way down to the bottom here and you can see we've got a static method in here called ignore, ignore root, which sets registers roots to false at the top. So we've got a property up here called registers roots, that's by default set to true. So the goal then is to just invoke this and that will get rid of the previous root. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in register and just say fortify and let's just check the name of that, ignore roots, pop that in there and we should be good. So let's just try this out. Sign in still works because that's our root file. But now if we head over to login, sure enough, that doesn't work. So the first step was obviously just copying them files over so we have our own roots and we can change them around whether it's the name, any middleware that's applied to them, the controller that these link up to, uh, but then disabling the prior root so we don't have two of these registered. So that's how easy it is. Ignore the base roots requiring your own roots which you've copied over from Fortify.